everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 43, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Spartan MCOC. Alright, so let's take a look here. Oh wait, before we do that, let me uh, see the band attackers, okay? Um, that can be interesting. All right. And let's go ahead in. As you can see, the uh, war has already been uh, enjoined, but I'm just now uh, getting in here. The middle is already cleared, um, but I'm going to be taking this man thing here uh, with Diablo. And let's see, I'm going to be bringing Claire in for that uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. And I'm also going to bring in uh, Hulkling. But check this out. No boss. I don't know if they made a mistake with this new placement thing. Maybe they just, uh, you know, didn't place it in time. I'm not sure how that happened, but no boss. So we should, let me see, was, um, let's see, second one. Okay, yeah, see, there's a boss for Battleground 2, I mean, Battle Group 2, and Battle Group 3. So, yeah, they may have just uh, messed up for uh, Battle Group 1. So. Diablo, Claire, and Hulkling are what I am uh, looking at here. Hulkling should be able to handle both of those fights, too. And uh, this Shuri. And then Claire for uh, that Cosmic Ghost Rider. And Claire could do this uh, fight against um, Quicksilver as well. All right. I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's get to it. All right. I'm going in with Hulkling, Claire, and El Diablo. And let me brace you guys for something. You are going to see some of the ugliest fighting real soon okay not for this first fight but the fight right after this one ugly all right but for this fight we've got quicksilver now fighting quicksilver is sometimes very tricky but i've had some decent practice with him he doesn't really gain armor up so i don't have to worry about most of these um except that you know backboard brawler whatever um, just don't want to push him all the way to the right, which is what I usually like to do. Um, and I have to worry about his evade. And it goes on cooldown. So when you're fighting him, if you can get it on cooldown, you can fight normally. So what I'll usually do is I'll parry. And then, you know, attack like that. And then quickly block. Now, sometimes I can re-parry. But this time I couldn't. But see, now it's on cooldown. So I'm fighting him normal. And I'm just blocking everything. You know, the cooldown is coming. All right. So here we go. See that evade? That's what I usually do. It didn't work that first time. And then that, don't ask me how that happened. And what I was trying to do, which he wouldn't let me do, is get unblockable, fire off my special two, finish it off. But that didn't work. And, oh, I hate his uh, special too. But I evaded the last part of it. Um, and I'm going to fire off his special three. I think that's going to be it. So, not what I wanted to do. But I do end the fight with a decent amount of health. Okay? Look at that. That was just ridiculous. Okay? Just ridiculous. I'm unblockable now, so... Um, fight's over. I really wish his special three did a bit more damage. I was hoping that the special three would, you know, finish the fight. 
All right, now this fight. I know how to fight her. I have to say that earlier, uh, early, because what you're going to see is ugly. Very, very ugly. So one of the things that I try to do when I'm fighting her is get that digi cloak on cooldown. Similar to um, Quicksilver, you want to get it on cooldown. And you do that by this heavy attack. Now it's on cooldown. So I can fight like normal if I want to. Okay, build up my pierce. Look at that. Now I'm unblockable. Everything is going well. Okay. And she can't drain my power, which is one of the things that's so annoying. But look at that. She dexed me. I'm like, are you kidding me? Now, the one thing that I was not anticipating in this fight was the power lock. And then look at that. I'm telling you guys. And then and then I forgot to look at the digi cloak because that kind of threw me off. And I'm like, okay. Oh, you know what? I need to just fight. You know? Because look at it, I'm power locked. My power, my special three is locked up. And I'm just like, okay, let's just finish this fight off. Okay, there we go. Heavy attack. Get it on cooldown. And then just fight. Okay? No problem. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, digi cloak. Hit into the block. We got this. Okay? Pretty good, right? Oops. Digi cloak came off cooldown. I didn't notice it. And look at this. Look at that. Look at my health. But we won. And like I said, it was ugly, but we got it. That was not my finest hour. Oh my goodness. That was horrible. I was sitting there going, please don't tell me I'm going to die already. Now, this man thing, easy pickings for Diablo. Easy, easy. That personal space regeneration don't matter. Recovery don't matter. Because man thing, despite the fact that he is green, is not poison immune. So he's not about to heal nothing. So we're good. We're good. I remember uh, before we found a good solution to him, um, we would fight him with Claire and, and things like that. And those worked, but not as good as Diablo. And I don't know if anybody else has a uh, high-level uh, Diablo, but anytime I see Man-Thing, I'm just like, let me take Diablo in. I got him. I don't think I've lost uh, against Man-Thing with Diablo. So look at this. I just have to worry about the special three. Just got to make sure to bait it out. And see, he can heal, try to heal, but he's got six poisons on him right now. And I do have a point in despair. Uh, so every uh, debuff that's on him um, hinders his healing even more. So you got the poison hindering his healing and the number of poisons hinder it. And look at my health. That's Diablo. See all that regen? Doesn't matter. Look at this. Finish with a full health bar. Can't get much simpler than that. Okay? So when I see Man Thing, unless they have Diablo ban, he going down. Okay? Now, uh, the next fight, um, I think I had to wait. Yeah. Had to wait um, for the next day. I think I went to bed at that time. Yeah, and we got like three hours left in the uh, war. And uh, looks like they had a little bit of a problem on that one. And now I got to fight this guy. And I almost messed up because I forgot that Cosmic Ghost Rider does get armor ups. He does get an armor up. And so I need a, a bleed immune. It would have been ugly if I had gone in here without a bleed immune. But um, one of my uh, alliance mates, uh, officer, reminded me, he's like, um, how are you going to handle the uh, thorns and everything? And I went, what? And then I looked it up. See, he's got a, he got an armor up. Now, it's not a problem for Claire. You know, she'll get rid of it. And if I stay in blood... 
it don't matter whether he had the armor up or not. But I'm gonna nullify it, so it doesn't really matter. Okay? But anybody else? That would have been ugly. That would have been ugly. Um, so Claire shouldn't have a problem here. Unless the inputs have a little fun with me. Which they have been doing lately. Not been a fun time. But I can't remember. I don't think it, it happened on this one. In last war, we saw how that went. But this war, um, I think we did okay. Probably because I had the memory of the last war in my mind and I was being super cautious and careful. Not that that helps all the time, but, you know, it is what it is. Do what you can do. All right, so this next one, Shuri. Now, Shuri can be a royal pain to fight. Um, you basically want to fight her stun immune. And I couldn't remember whether she got armor ups. I think she does, but she also does shock. So I was going to go in with Hulkling regardless because he's immune to shock. So here we go. And I don't see any uh, armor ups, but it is what it is. I don't mind. Okay, you got to watch her, though, because like right now, if she does... Okay, there we go. There's the armor up. And I don't know if those armor ups count. But better safe than sorry, I go in with uh, uh, shock immune. Now, see, when she had those 10 charges, she fired off a um, heavy, which activated her untouchable. And you got to be careful about that. Now, look at this. Oh, look at that damage. Mm. Hulkling's a beast. And to do that, you want to fire off that special two while he is unblockable. Nasty. He just nasty with it. All right. I think that is the uh, last fight of this war for me. And we'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. It was a very close war. Look at the score, y'all. That is close. Okay? Just check this out, man. Very, very close close and we needed this win after the last war first war of the season where we lost if we want to stay in tier two we had to win this war and i'm told that we really need to win the next war as well okay so we've got this war we got another war that we need to win so that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching the video feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.